Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Torex Golf in Wigan to do a winning bag of Mr. Jason Day. He wins the Players' Championship 2016 by a four-shot victory. He went from wire to wire. It wasn't long since I did the last winning bag of Jason Day, but he has got some new equipment in there. So we're going to do a new one, starting with the driver. So starting off with the driver, he's using the tailor-made M1 460, the big head. He's got it in 10.5 degrees of loft, but he's cranked it down to 9.5 degrees, for what reason I am unsure of. He's bombing the driver at the moment. He's probably one of the longest and straightest out on tour at the moment. And I use the M1. I love it. He seems to be smashing it. It's working for him. No end. So moving into his fairway wood, and this is a new addition because he was using, I think, an aero burner last time. He's now using a tailor-made M2 in the high launch. He's got it at 16.5 degrees on the head, but it's actually, again, bent to 14.5 degrees. He must just suit that. He must pre prefer that. Instead of having it in the 14 and a half, he's gone 16 and a half and bent it down. Awesome. So moving into his irons, he has a two iron, which is the tailor-made RSI 2. So a little bit chunkier than his normal set, because his normal set are the actual RSI TPs from four to pitching wedge. I really like the RSI clubs. I thought they were great clubs. Interestingly, that he's not gone to the PSIs, because obviously they're the newer model, but he's stuck with the RSIs at the moment. I think the PSIs look better and sound slightly better, but the performance of the RSIs you can't fault at all. So moving into his wedges, and I would say Jason Day, his short game at the moment, his wedge play is phenomenal. It really is. He carries three wedges, apart from his pitching wedge, so he's four wedges in theory. He has a tour preferred the TaylorMade Tour preferred EF wedges in 47, a 52 and a 60. But his 52 is bent to 54 and his 60 is actually a 58 that's bent to 60. So the gapping is slightly better than the numbers would portray on the head. Because when you look at the numbers between 52 and 60, that gap seems too big. But in theory, it's a 50, 54 to 60, which is a little bit more reasonable. I think he does a lot of his wedges with his 60, a lot of his pitching with his 60. And I suppose that way then you can just control the length of the swing as opposed to changing too much of the loft. Great wedges, very, very good looking wedges. And honestly, Jason Day's short game is one of the best out there at the moment. His technique is fantastic where he doesn't use too much wrist angle and then just extends the arms through the ball to get a very consistent shot is awesome. So the, uh, the red stick, that's what it should now be called. Jason Day's putter a new tailor-made Spider limited edition red putter. It looks awesome. It's got no, what appears like no alignment on the top of the head at all. I'd be interested to know the science behind the red putter, whether it, it helps make the ball stand out more with it being white and the putter being red, possibly. But he, he's, his putting is just awesome at the moment. It's a big head, the Spider. He has been using spiders for a number of years. But this new red design, he's probably had it in the bag for the last few months. And uh, again, putted just unbelievably. It showed again in the final round where potentially he didn't play brilliant. Certainly the front nine he didn't, where he duffed a few chips. But he holds some incredibly important putts. So the golf ball, he uses the TaylorMade Tour Preferred X. And I think he has number 87s on there. Comment below, do you know what 87 means? I don't. Whether is it a sports team? Is it a, a, a number that you, he's familiar with? I'd love to know if you know down below. It'd be dead interesting to hear. Um, I like the Tour Preferred Ball. I don't like the X one. I find it a bit too hard. But I know that the Tour Preferred, preferred Ball is a really good ball and spins incredibly well. Certainly the softer one for me spins brilliantly. So guys, that was a winning bag of Jason Day. This has been so far the second of the year. I can imagine there's going to be many, many more. I really do see that. US Open is, is in a month's time, and I wouldn't be surprised the day after the US Open, I'm doing another winning bag of Jason Day. What do you think? Guys, comment below. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe by clicking the big button here. Do like the video, and we shall see you next time doing more winning bags. If you've not seen the Monday Night Golf Show as well, link up here in the corner. You can go and watch that now. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.